Oh, heck no. Junior. Hey, yo, dude, what's up, bro? Dude, stop doing whatever video you're doing. Okay. Bro. Got a spider problem, bro. What do you mean a spider problem? It's it's bad, bro. I got bit in the thighs and the legs. And, it's because like, you're, you're thick, bro. That's why. <laughs> it's true. That's why. But look, you got to come see it. Come on. All right, let's go. Hey, bro, I don't want you to freak out, man. All right, let's check it out. It's bad, bro. I'm telling you, it's super bad, okay. bro. All right, you ready? Bro, look. Oh, heck no, bro. bro look. <laughs> nah. Yeah, man. I don't know what's going on out there. Oh, nah, man. He's burning the house down. Ooh, what in the world are my two Thomas trains doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa, I've never seen him run a train like oh. this. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, yo, what the Tom is doing? <laughs> hey, yo, what the? What is up, you guys? Realistic Gaming here, and welcome to Thomas Thursdays, where we watch random videos that pertain Thomas in them. And as you can see, we just seen one of the weirdest ones I might ever seen in my life. All right, so going forward, let's go on with Chugger YouTube. He did drop Thomas in secret. Tongue is the tank engine. The surprise. Oh. That boy puffing and puffing. Sir Topham had, had asked us to this very meeting spot, much to his confusion. You wanted to talk to me, sir? Tongues asked as he pulled up to the station. Tongues? Now, Tongues, this isn't easy for me to tell you, but times are changing. It's hardly efficient to keep aged, broken down locomotives like yourself from the previous oh. century maintained. Tongues. Oh, Gordon Percy. Have I not been doing a good job, sir? The obese controller pondered for a moment before answering. <sighs> you know what, Tongues? It's fine. Forget I said anything. We've been preparing a special surprise oh, for you no. for being such a I wouldn't trust worker. him, Tongues. Really? Oh, what a wonder -tastic day. Tongues exclaimed with glee. Nah, bro, this is a setup. Tongues it's gotta be a setup. The obese controller to where his special surprise had been prepared. Sir, I hate to pry, but this looks more like a giant mass of ravenous living tissue than a special surprise. Oh. Boy, you're gonna throw him in the lava pit. were dangled over the edge of the flesh bit. Your surprise is early retirement and subsequent absorption into the glorious mass. You'll be happier this way. I think we all will. Dang, Spoke bro. Topham, calmly tongues was pushed all the way over the edge and descended into the creature. No! Oh, poor Thomas. Dang, bro. That's why I don't like Sir Top Hand, bro. That's why he's bald. That's why he ain't got no hair, because he's evil. All right, next we got Thomas Speeds by TTTE Guy. I was only going 27 over. Thomas, you run over a child. Oh, oh. Me, is that what that was? <gasps> oh, it seems like Thomas wasn't aware. And he might have been going a little too fast. All right, next is Enterprise Engine. Of course, I'll use Thomas Slow Motion Crash Test. Oh. All right, looks pretty cool in slow motion. <laughs> oh, look at that. Boom. Let's go. Cool. He lands like actual rocks on the carts. <clears throat> oh. What's this? Who's that? Smudger? Yo, this is pretty cool. Look at this, like the scenery and everything. Oh, he derailed. Oh no, man, this is going too quick. Bruh. Okay, so the sound effects are spot on. It makes it seem like it's so real. Let's see what we got here. Oh. <laughs> My leg. <laughs> Y'all ain't got no legs, bro. What you talking about? Oh, is that Gordon? Oh, they're on the- Oh! Bro, they fell into the water. Of course, only the wood engines fell in. <laughs> okay, so I came across this deer from Ohio guy. He 
He's basically remaking Skibbity Toilet, but he's making his own version, which is Skibbity Thomas. Huh? So let's go ahead and react to Skibbity Thomas 1. What the heck is going on on you? I have seen it all. Skibbity Thomas 2. Oh, what? Barney? I think it's Barney doing there. <laughs> oh, there's more. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, so I guess he's gonna turn it this into a series. So we might see more with Skibbity Thomas in the near future. Now we're on the bogey boy. A part of me stayed behind. Disclaimer, this video is created for a general audience. This means anyone in the ages can enjoy this video. Furthermore, bada 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 bada. A lot of nonsense, man. Just, just enjoy the video. <clears throat> oh. Oh, dang, bro. Early one morning, Gordon awoke with a start. He felt strange, but could not explain why. What's going on, Gordon? Driver, who had come to clean him before work began, reassured him. <laughs> it's the ditch water, he said to Gordon. It can get into your mechanical workings and make you feel sick. Oh. Gordon was satisfied with that explanation. But what was odd was that he couldn't remember falling into the ditch, even though it had happened recently. What? Memory was fuzzy at best. What do you mean by I'm that? I'm just exhausted from pulling the express so well. He chuckled to himself and fell back into an uneasy sleep. He dreamt of vague images. Okay, so Those he of a mine fell in a ditch. In these images, he felt a part from himself, as if viewing the events from above. He couldn't see anything clearly, but he felt strongly that these memories did not belong to him. Later that morning, Gordon sleepily brought his train to the junction. Oh, look at Thomas. He seems so worked up, dude. Thomas, who looked equally tired, greeted him with a smile. Oh, a little smile. Long night, Thomas asked. Yes, <coughs> they had some very strange dreams. Gordon replied. Me too. It, it was like we were at the mine again. But when I awoke, I, I couldn't actually remember being there at all. Gordon's eyes widened. Something strange is going dreams. on here. Come to think of it, I can't actually remember falling into the ditch, much less rescuing you from the mine. What does it mean? Thomas asked. I don't know. We only just came back. What does it mean? I remember bringing you to the yard just before the oh, James, came to the Thomas. island. I remember that too. But why can't we remember actually being at the mine? Why do you keep talking about this ditch and this mine, bro? The two ends and decided to find out for themselves. Oh, okay, they're gonna investigate. They're in detective night, mode. The two of them puffed up the line. Which led from the big station. Now y'all don't get yourselves the into trouble. That led to the mines, but were met with cautionary signs, which read, "Danger, collapsed mine ahead." Oh. We'll have to investigate from here," said their crews. They walked past the signs and towards the collapsed mine shafts. They came back a short while later. What are you doing back so soon? Thomas asked. Nothing to see. Let's head back. That's Thomas cap, Gordon bro. There's something to them. see. You didn't even take a flashlight with you. How could you see anything? Their crew is insisted, but Thomas resisted. Oh. He sped through the cautionary signs and stopped at the edge of a large gaping pocket. When he looked down inside, he shrieked. Oh, what is it? Gordon, 
What is it, bro? Show us. Tears welling in his eyes. It's got to be something serious, bro. Thomas is crying. If he's crying, he ain't lying, bro. Oh, he's all shaky. Look at him. Oh. What is this? In the pit were two mangled engines. One looked exactly like Gordon. Oh, what? And the other like Thomas. It's Thomas and Gordon, bro. What? What the? Who, who are these engines? Gordon asked. A terrible feeling began stewing deep in his boiler. Oh, who is this? Is this Sir Topham? It has to be, because he's always the evil one. That fat, bald, evil man. I can explain, said a familiar voice. The fat controller stood oh, next to his car. You can never trust this guy, bro. He had hoped this day would never come. But alas, here we are. These were you, he continued solemnly. What? What, what do you mean, were? Asked Thomas, distress in his voice. Oh, flashback. <laughs> Shilly old board. Shilly old board. Come on. Right. Now. When you fell into the mine, Thomas, you didn't just fall. The mine collapsed beneath you, swallowing you whole. Damn. Oh no! Wait, so how did Gordon? I strung his engine to lift you out with a pulley system. But we misjudged how shallow the shaft was below, and he too fell into the growing chasm beneath the ground. But how can we be here if we're down there? Exactly. Next. It's a gruesome tale, said the fact controller. We had a major scandal due to our lack of judgment. And to save face, we... We saved your faces. There what? was a talented engineer from crew. We moved your identities to new shells. The man, there's always a mad scientist. The engines you see below, your former cells, were prototypes. Thomas and Gordon didn't know what to say. Or surgeon. In their event. confusion, they began to cry. That, that doesn't change who you are now, the fact controller said. You're still two of my most useful engines. Bro, I would have flipped out. a second chance. And avoided a scandal. We understand, said Thomas. Oh, do you now? Soon after. This is pretty crazy. Slunk her, buffer to buffer. Everything felt familiar and foreign at the same time. I didn't feel whole anymore, knowing that the part of them was rotting away in the bowels of the mines. That's crazy, bro. The only hope that one day, many years from now, these memories will become fuzzy too. <laughs> the end dude that was crazy i did not expect that and it's and it's crazy to think that i've never even heard of the story because it's like a remake of the original i believe i don't know where it comes from specifically but i do know it's like a remake and this was pretty cool like the animation and all that pretty solid remake all right you guys well there you have it thomas thursday if y'all have any videos you guys want to submit down below comment the links i can react to them thank y'all for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one Perfect.